I will never understand, Jacob, why human beings want to watch other human beings copulate. I don't <laughs> that get doesn't it. make sense to you. It doesn't make any sense. I think it's weird, okay. right? Like, why would I want to be? Why would I want to watch? Some, you know, I don't. Okay, I enjoy eating meat. I enjoy or eating yeah. skirt steaks, right? Okay, sure. I enjoy chicken. I enjoy, uh, you know, air frying food. Do you uh -huh. know what I mean? I don't like to watch other people eat food. It does nothing for me. Oh, so, okay. I can see that. So, the, like a cooking show or a Do Anthony Bourdain does doesn't do anything for, for me. Okay. Well, if it's Anthony Bourdain, but that's because it's interesting because they're talking and they're <laughs> chatting, but they don't do that in adult videos, right? I mean, in adult <laughs> okay. videos, there's not a whole lot of, you know, porn is exactly known for the plot. riveting yeah, dialogue yeah, yeah. Yeah. and yeah. plot. I mean, but when people are sitting down and you're watching adult adults engaging in adult things, yeah. to me, it's like, why would I do that? When I can go participate it, in it on my own. Right? I see. But if uh, hypothetically, if there was an Anthony Bourdain of, Porn of that video? type of content, <laughs> yeah. and the story is that is 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 at that level, and the writing's great, that that might be something interesting to you. Yeah, if he's, that's basically the premise of like the business model of HBO. <laughs> yeah, I mean, okay, yeah, pretty much, right? Okay. HBO they took like uh, uh, Strange Places with Anthony Bourdain, mm -hmm. and then they they put in uh, a bunch of like B list and C list actors, <laughs> and they were like, "Hey, do you want to show your boobs for an extra five hundred thousand dollars a season?" Yeah. And they were like, "Sold." There you go, everybody. Because if you think about it. Game of Thrones, the first like two or three seasons, yeah. is basically just porn. Has yeah. anybody identified this? It's weird, creepy, fetish porn. Pretty purient. Um, yeah, it's yeah. pretty gross. Yeah. So I say all that to say this. Ray J, who is most famous for, uh, 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 I don't know, what, what did he do? Sports? Singing? Oh, that's a great... Oh, wow. I, I had forgotten that... Presumably had some claim to fame before he, the yeah. video that we all kind of know him for right so i he had made a video with kim kardashian His collaboration kim collaboration yes. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> where they sat around and they ate steaks together and then they <laughs> made passionate love and then that video was released and he has Leaked, i should say or i mean stolen and then released perhaps i i don't remember the backstory exactly but i just presume that they did not intend for that to be... Or am I wrong about that? I think that they did. Okay. I think okay. that it was leaked. Yeah. But I think that the uh, the thing was like, oh, no, our, our video of us eating steaks and, and yeah. making love was released out to the public. Oh, whatever will we do? When yeah, in actuality, yeah, yeah. they, they intended sense. for it. Yeah. So he's come out with this interesting thought about, you know, everything that happened in his life, you know, it's subsequently because of that video being released. And, and here's a little bit about what that sounded like. Everything would be different, meaning like you would never ask me that question. Meaning if we sat here right now right. and we got to this point, what like, I don't know, probably more people would be going to college and <laughs> you know what I'm saying, getting an education to be successful. There might not be any OnlyFans and other things like that, other, yeah, okay. other opportunities like that. So, I mean, are we a part of the cure? Are we a part of the disease? I, all I know is I'm just trying to make it right. Were you ever embarrassed when the tape came out? <laughs> wow, we really... <laughs> Long pause. Is he really pondering? Thinking about it. Thinking. Yeah. <laughs> I have kids oh now, God. so... When I have kids, yeah. And they go... They... Everything that we did now, when I have kids, is just totally different. The whole thing is wacky. Before I was just like, <laughs> uh, but with my kids, it's not okay. All right. So <laughs> this is my, this is exactly what I've been telling people for the longest time. Why would you film yourself in your youth committing mm. debaucherous, largely disgusting acts, right? Let's just be frank about this. And then you put it out into the world thinking like, oh, I'm going to be, this is going to be great. I will never regret this decision. You know, like, it's it's basically like me getting full sleeve tattoos by the time I was 24. I sure. was like, I'll never regret this decision a day in my life. I am now 36, and there are certain <laughs> tattoos that I sincerely wish I did not get. Now imagine that that's animated and functional and anybody can see it on the internet. Mm -hmm. That, I think that it's, it's, it's interesting when he says, you know, what people would have done had he not made that video and had porn, celebrity porn, not been a thing. Yeah. I think a lot more people would have gone to college. Huh. I think a lot more people would have made better decisions in their lives because ultimately like the act of lovemaking, Nora, come in on me really quick. Cause this is serious. 
the the act of of <laughs> making love, whether it's between a man and a woman, or a man and a man, or a woman and a woman. Sometimes a, a man and a man and a woman. Sure. Sometimes a woman and a woman and a man. Wow. We sometimes could, we three could, women. We could be here all day. Sometimes <laughs> three men. If you're really weird. <laughs> That's something special, right? That's a special why bonding. Is, why is just the three men the only one of those things that you deemed weird? I think that's totally it's weird. It's all weird. Sorry, keep going. Sex is this weird is in general. Me. Point being, <laughs> it's a, it is literally the most vulnerable and the most connected you can be to another human being, mm -hmm. wherein you are entirely naked, uh, unless you do it like how I do it, where you're wearing full okay. rain slicks because you don't want to get a disease. <laughs> but you are entirely naked, right? I call it the Gor Gorman's fish, fish sticks. That's <laughs> what I do. I put on rain slicks like uh, the guy uh -huh. in the cover of the fish sticks box. Anyway, this is besides the point. Uh, you are naked and you, you're two bodies or sometimes three or four or five that have now become one body, mm -hmm. right? You are mm -hmm. literally, you know, I I enmeshed with another human being. And when we take this beautiful process, which biologically releases a ton of dopamine and a ton of oxytocin and is meant to bind us together as as uh, uh, humans, when we take that and we say, okay, put this uh, and let's film it at 1080p and then we will uh, get the right lighting and then we'll release it on the internet for money. Mm -hmm. the, co the commodification of that aspect of the human experience, I think, has largely diluted it. Um, yeah. Uh, it's... <sighs> I, I don't know. I don't I don't want to defend <laughs> porn you necessarily. I mean, please, Jacob, <laughs> by all I, means. So how do you, t to me, I I completely hear what you're saying and, and largely agree with it. But also there's a lot of puritanical people out there that want porn like, you know, not accessible or or put behind, you know, you've got to prove your your age or, or identity before you access any of it. And that sounds fairly, that sounds silly to me in a lot of ways. Yeah, I think that people should... In the same way that I don't think that we should outlaw sugary drinks because mm -hmm. they're bad for people, I don't think that we should outlaw porn. I just think that people should make better choices around uh, what they're choosing to do with their bodies and their minds. Like, did you guys know, just as an example, that uh, porn addiction is not actually an addiction to self-pleasure it's an addiction to um disassociating yeah that makes sense to me yeah right so because then you are saying i don't like the way that i feel mm -hmm. so i'm going to use this external stimuli this e exogenous stimuli to try to make me feel a different way and effectively disassociate for literally hours yeah it's not a substance in the way that like other substance addictions work. right yeah it's not a separate chemical it's just all entirely contained within you so when i see young men who are dealing with porn addiction or video game addiction or whatever it is what that tells me is that you have people who just don't want to be present and yeah. ironically they are using the activity which requires you to be the most present with another human mm -hmm. being mm -hmm. As a as a way to as a, a method of escapism, and that's why I think that Ray J is being unbelievably based here, and unbelievably correct. He's also way funnier than I expected him to. Be. Yeah, <laughs> I would watch a lot more videos now that I know that he talks like that.